custom interiors and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute velvet pumpkins. These are the materials you'll need to make your pumpkin. Velvet fabric, polyester fill like you would use in a pillow, a hot glue gun, some kind of marker, either a fabric marker or a sharpie marker, scissors, a strong um, thread, I like this hand quilting thread, a long needle, and some kind of stem for the pumpkin. These are dried stems from last year's pumpkins. You could also use a stick if you wanted to. You'll need something to weight down the bottom of the pumpkin. You can either use some uh, dried rice or dried beans. To make the pattern for your fabric, you'll also need some round objects. I used this 10 inch plate for my smallest pumpkins, and then I used this bowl. I just laid it upside down on my fabric and traced around it, and it's 12 and a half inches, and that's my medium sized pumpkin. And then to make my larger pumpkins, I used our pizza pan. Today I'm going to make one of the smaller pumpkins. So I've cut my fabric in a 10 inch um, diameter circle. I've got my needle threaded. I've got four strands of thread, and then I've knotted all the strands of thread together. What I'm going to do is do a long basting stitch all the way around the circumference of the pillow. I'm going to start about a quarter of an inch away from the raw edge and my stitches are going to be about a half inch long. I'm just going to go in and out and this will make the fabric gather up. Usually I would use a thread the same color as the fabric, but I wanted you to see the thread when it's basted onto the fabric. So that's why I used the red thread so it would show up better. I'm going to continue basting all the way around the fabric. I'm just finishing up basting around the edge of the circle going to finish my last couple of stitches. When I get all of the basting stitches done, I'm going to open the pumpkin up so that we can get our rice and our fiber fill in the opening. I've got it opened up. For these small pumpkins, I'm using about a quarter of a cup of rice. You just want enough to kind of weight the bottom of the, the pumpkin. Then I'm going to fill it with the fiber fill. Until it's stuffed as full as you would like it. It'll probably take more fiber fill than you think. Now that we've got our pumpkin filled with the fiber fill, we're going to gather up the thread, pull it tight, and then we're going to take a stitch across from where the thread is. to help close up that opening. Then I'm going to go across the other way. It doesn't have to be neat. It's going to be covered by your handle, by your um, stem, not your handle, your stem later on. Once I've gathered that up, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go across again
from where I am and then go clear down to the bottom of the pillow and see my needle sticking out. So I want to come out about in the middle. Pull that tight and then I'm just going to take a small stitch and this is where you would normally want to have thread the same color as your fabric. And you're going to bring your needle back up to the top of the pumpkin. So that's what your stitch looks like on the bottom side. Once you've done that, you're going to knot off your thread, keeping everything pulled tightly. I've cut off my thread and I'm going to use a wooden dowel. You could use a chopstick or something. And I'm just going to push the center edges under as much as I can. Then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and my stem, put a little drop on the stem, and then place it on the pumpkin. You just want to hold it there for a few minutes until it cools off and is firm. And then you've got your cute pumpkin. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for how to make a velvet pumpkin. If you'd like more information, you can go to my blog at newtoncustominteriors.com. And if you'd like to see more video tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.